Hello everybody, welcome. It's me, John, aka Nosey, and I'm back. Hopefully I can do this okay. <laughs> I've not been feeling too good since I got back. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better today, so I thought I'll try and get this hot this haul video out now while I'm feeling a bit better. Uh, I've actually got a fair bit this time around. Uh, considering I wasn't actually actively looking for anything in particular, um, but I actually managed to get quite a little bit of stuff, really. Um, so, off of Toy Fu, uh, I've got a couple things off of Toy Fu, actually. Um, it was mostly these guys that I got off Toy Fu. Um, so, I got Transmetal or Dinobot 2, I believe this is guy is. Um, so, I've got Dinobot. The normal figure, should I say. I've got down, I bought the normal figure, but, uh, you know, I've always wanted to pick up uh, Dinobot. Uh, Dinobot 2 or Transmetal Dinobot or whatever you want to call him. So, yeah, I picked up this guy. So, I've got this guy off Toy Fu. Um, I believe he's complete. I'm not too sure. But uh, he looks pretty much together. He doesn't seem to be losing, like, losing a limb or anything like that. So, yeah, I'm very happy to have this guy in the collection. Very nice indeed. So, down about two. Um, I also picked up these guys. I don't know the names. I believe this guy is called Drillbit. Um, these are Beast Wars Basic for toys, I believe. Um, I don't know what the names are on the other two. Um, so, if anybody in the in the comments below can let me know what the the names are for these guys um properly um but <clears throat> as you guys know i'm a bit of a sucker for beast wars basic toys i absolutely love them because even though they are some of them are absolutely terrible but yeah i love i really like them because i think they've got some character to them and i've always been drawn to you know, Beast Wars Basics figures that are from like Beast Wars 2, Beast Wars Neo and everything. And uh, so I picked up this guy and I believe this guy is drill bit because he has his weapon is a drill bit. So I picked up this guy off, again off of Toy Fu. Um, so yeah, so I picked this guy up. Very nice. And then I picked up this guy i do not know this guy's name at all i need to kind of like do some research before i review them but i picked up this guy um it looks like some sort of baboon of some kind or some sort of or tasmanian devil or something i don't really know what what he's supposed to be but uh but yeah so another basics figure seems to be there i don't know it seems to be all there to a degree, I think. A very strange looking figure. So yeah, I picked that up as well. And I picked up this guy. Um, I absolutely have no idea. I absolutely have no idea who this guy is either. But I just really liked how he looked. Um, I don't even know if he's transformed correctly, to be quite honest with you, because his limbs are a bit weird. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but uh, but yeah, I don't know if you can not see him properly. He's not, but I really like how demonic this guy looks. Uh, it looks really quite demonic and quite strange looking. Um, I don't actually know if he's actually transformed correctly. I think he's probably just transformed wrong because. Maybe slightly wrong, I don't know, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. But no, he looks really quite interesting. He looks like something from Diablo, like a Diab like the, from the Diablo games or something. Um, but yeah, I don't think he's uh, transformed relatively correctly. But like I say, when you get stuff off of Toy Fu, sometimes the like maybe crudely transformed or somebody's had a little play with it before I bought it or whatever. But um, and sometimes they're not complete either. Sometimes they're missing parts. But I'm not really all that bothered about that, to be to be honest with you. But uh, but no. So I've got this guy again. Let me know the name of him below if anybody knows. He looks quite cool. So I thought why not pick him up? All goes to a good cause in the end. 
And last but not least, from my Toy Foo pickups, I don't think there's anything else in there that's from Toy Foo, no. Um, I got this was Air Razor, uh, the original Air Razor. So I actually was thinking about, I wonder if I can find an Air, a Beast Wars Air Razor when I go to TFN. Before going to TFN, I was hoping I would actually find one, um, and I did. Uh, because the reason for it is I actually do have Beast Wars Air Razor but I have the Kingdom one um, I also have the Kingdom T uh, Tigertron as well um, but um, the reason for it is well it's quite obvious if you if you follow Beast Wars or if you know about Beast Wars uh, basically uh, Air Razor and Tigertron form to make Tigerhawk so I have original Beast Wars Tiger Hawk, and I have now got the reissue of Tigertron from the original toy, but it's the reissue. So I've got original, well, reissue if you if you if you will, um, of Tigertron, and now I've got original Air Razor. So now essentially I have Air Razor, Tigertron, and Tiger Hawk, which is what they fused to become later. Uh, so that's mainly the reason why I wanted to get an original air razor, but yeah, she looks cool. She looks really nice uh, she's Quite tardy. She is I think she's missing one of her What's supposed to be kind of her weapon slash bed you know, the bed feet um, Yes, yeah, she only came with one so unfortunately she is missing one piece, but it doesn't it doesn't hinder the transformation of it whatsoever so i'm quite happy with that so yeah so i've got myself uh beast wars original air razor so very happy with that then moving on i got i wasn't actually going to get this figure but mostly be I, I well i was actually having a conversation with uh, jim uh aka monkeys and tv um I was having a conversation and he actually picked this guy up as well and he said oh do it do it because he's a really really nice figure and i thought well i already have this figure but i have the uh more show accurate version that came out part of the legacy part of the kingdom line um now yeah so i picked up the buzzworthy and um, buzzworthy bumblebee predicon pterosaur but it's uh obviously based off the original toy uh, so the original toy that came out, he was red with a blue, blue, blue head and blue parts, which wasn't as reminiscent to his show accuracy. But uh, I have the original Pterosaur, um, and I also, you know, and I also have the Transmetal Pterosaur figures as well. So yeah, I'm very happy to have this guy to add to the collection. And as you can see, he wasn't badly priced either, twelve quid. So I thought, sod it, at that price. I might as well just pick the guy up because I love my Beast Wars and uh, yeah, I thought, why the hell not. Next I got I picked up from In Demand, I got uh, the Little Legends Sound Blaster. Now if you remember, I reviewed recently the Soundwave, the Legends Soundwave, which is essentially this figure, but obviously, you know, Soundwave instead of Sound Blaster. So I thought, sod it. Seven quid. Um, I really did like. I really do love the little uh, legends figure that I got, even though it's exactly the same figure, but just black. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's exactly the same figure second time around, but just different color scheme. But you know, I love my sound waves. Loves my sound blasters. So thought sod it, pick that little guy up as well. Um, I was also given. This for free off of um, Andy or Andrew Andrew Tate. Um, yeah, he said uh, he was he was selling some stuff and he says, "Oh, would you like this?" I said, "Are you sure you don't want out for it?" He said, "No, no, it's fine. You can have it." So I got Blowpipe, which is the Siege War for Cybertron Battlemaster. Um, so yeah, so I've got this little guy to add to the collection. So I don't know who I can give him to in my collection, but at least. Is a little is an extra little thing there. And then I obviously again in demand. Uh, they were doing uh, certain certain figures for eighteen pound, 
so I managed to pick up two of the figures I was relatively wanting, which I was quite happy with. So I picked up Twincast. So 18 quid for Twincast, not too bad at all. And he also comes with uh, Rewind. Um, so yeah, very happy to have Twincast as well. And next, I picked up, I don't know if you can see him because he's very dark in there. Oh, there we go. I got £18 again. Leo Pram, Nemesis Leo Pram. I've got the regular Nemesis, uh, the regular Leo Pram uh, from the Legacy Evolution line, but uh, I am a bit of a sucker for Nemesis Prams. I love my Nemesis Prams and I love my Shattered Glass Verse Prams as well. Uh, so anything what comes out as a Nemesis version of Pram, I have to pick it up. Uh, so yeah, uh, very happy to have him as well. Again from in demand. Most of this stuff came from in demand. To be quite honest with you. Um, now I pre-ordered this guy. I pre-ordered this guy, and I've been messed about with uh, with this particular figure. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. Um, uh, yeah. Basically, I emailed them asking where it is, why it hadn't been, uh, why it hadn't been dispatched. And uh, yeah, so basically I got, uh, we will be in touch with you as soon as possible when it's actually been dispatched. So I ended up just cancelling the fucking order because I was like, I can't be arse messing around. And uh, it was being sold, there was quite a lot of these actually, and I was quite surprised it didn't get, it, it didn't sell out, to be honest. But uh, yeah, so I thought, well, it's here. I'm having problems with the one I pre-ordered. So I cancelled that and managed to pick it up on the Sunday. So I've got uh, Studio Series 86 Dinobot Snarl. So this guy's going to be added to my Dinobot Sludge. Um, I am still hoping to get... I, know, I was hoping to maybe get the Grimlock, Studio Series Grimlock, but uh, I couldn't find one anywhere. Somebody said there was one, but for about 100 quid, I'm like, fuck off. I was paying that much for a fucking Studio Series Grimlock, sorry. Yeah, I mean, obviously, brand new, they're only 50-odd quid. But, uh, but anyway, so, anyway. So, yeah, so I've got him as well, so quite happy that I finally have him, even though I was having issues with him. Um, and then last but not least, again from uh, In Demand Toys, this was a figure that I generally, I didn't really even notice, to be quite honest with you. And, uh, yeah, I was just looking around as you do. I went to basically go and pay for... Where are you? Basically, these guys. I, I went to go and pay for Twincast, Leo Pram, and the little Legacy Sound Blaster. So I went to go and pay for those guys. And uh, this guy was literally just on the other side of the table. And I, I picked it up and I thought, ooh, what's this? I mean, obviously, I love, uh, I'm a big fan of Transformers Rise of the Beasts. This is the Takara release, so the whole box is pretty much all in Japanese, except for certain words that are in English, like, uh, but this is Transformers Rise of the Beasts, Optimus Primal, uh, yeah, so he's a very, very detailed, very nicely painted, uh, actual proper leader class type figure, so he's actually quite big. So he's, he's definitely yeah, so he's definitely leader uh, leader class in size. He's quite huge, um, but yeah, he looks really quite nice. So I'll give you a quick look. See on the back, there he is in robot mode with his swords. He also has the uh, the uh, arm cannons as well, um, and also has shoulder mounted missile launchers. Um, so yeah, very happy with him. So that was the last thing I picked up from there and also i need to just acknowledge oh no oh, i put these guys up as well so give me a second and also i have to just give acknowledgement to joe jew joe drew 
there we go. Uh, he gave me this guy. Uh, basically, uh, I opened up my uh, oh, what was it? Basically, my my cone heads uh, that I got from TF Nation last year, and I noticed Ramjet was loot was loot missing one of these wing B pieces. It had literally snapped off the connection inside. And I thought, oh well, one of those things. And then I, I commented saying, uh, I might, I might, I just noticed that unfortunately, you know, it's he's losing that, he's lost that bit. And uh, Joe messaged me and he says, um, well, if you're interested, I have one, I, I have a junk at home. If you, if you, if you're interested, you can have him. So yes, yeah, so I, I saw him at TF Nation, and he quite happily, quite you know, gave me this ramjet for free. So I have a complete perfect ramjet. So I'm thinking of just transferring his his weapons over to this guy and this will be the primary ramjet and the other one I could maybe, I don't know, somewhere down the line I might be able to do some sort of a custom job with him maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so very happy to have this guy for free. Very happy indeed. So thank you ever so much to Joe for that. Um, and then the last two things I picked up, not Transformers related, I do apologise for that. Uh, <laughs> not really, to be quite honest, but um, but no, I am a huge Digimon fan, and obviously my my good friend uh, of uh, who of the Gundam Mad Store, uh, basically the Gundam Mad Store online and online store and everything. He was in attendance. He was at TF Nation as well in the dealer room. So I actually I actually went and checked him out um on the Sunday uh and these were literally the last two things I picked up and uh so I got took a couple of model kits um I was actually thinking of picking up a, a Gundam model kit but I ended up you know picking up you know so yeah I got War Greymon model kit so this is like a full on model kit uh, like like the Gundam grades and as you can see, it is a really quite nice detailed piece once built. Um, but yeah, looks really nice. So I'm going to have a go on these, um, probably while I'm off from work, hopefully see how I do. But uh, I am thinking about doing a, um, I am thinking about doing a, a build video on the channel uh, at some point. So we'll, we'll see. So yeah, so I've got Wall Graham on. And secondly, I picked up Metal Garuman. This guy is literally my favourite from Digimon. Um, I absolutely love Digimon, and I'm a big fan of wolves and dogs and things. Uh, so, and obviously, I do love my essentially like my dinosaur kind of centric characters as well. But, uh, but no, so I had to pick up these him as well. So I've got Metal Metal Garuman model kit so again really nice detailed piece once built very nice indeed so yeah so i will be trying to build these at some point and the uh, last thing i picked up <clears throat> from my good friend of luke uh, basic lucan lucan monks aka of lucan's tees uh yeah he released this really nice shirt design and he announced it literally about a week before tf nation and i said oh could you put one aside for me so i picked up this t-shirt that i've yet to wear i haven't worn it yet but very very nice indeed so like a video game kind of thing with all the characters on it very nice indeed so i picked that up as well so thank you ever so much for watching. I'll be back probably later at some point either this evening or tomorrow for my thoughts on TF Nation 2023. So I hope you enjoyed the haul and I will be back very soon. So yeah, I'm actually I'm very happy with what I got. Oh, actually, very quickly, I forgot to even mention these. Only Fools and Horses. Um, basically, um, I know this isn't TF Nation, uh, Transformers related, it's quite opposite but uh, basically again um, Andrew Tate uh, he was sharing with us from the Friday to the to Sunday 
and uh, basically he he said that his neighbour picked uh, basically gave him um, a box set for Early Fools and Horses, complete box set, and he said that he already had a box set. He already had the box set, um, and it was going spare, so he offered me it. So I've got series one to seven of Holy Fools and Horses, and also he gave me two of the specials as well. So I've got the Jolly Boys outing and Modern Men. Uh, so I've got those two specials as well, so whatever the other episodes. But anyway, so thank you ever so much to Andrew Tate for... If it was an Aussie, I'm a huge fan. Uh, you know, you really can't beat. You really can't beat proper classic British comedy. You really can't. And Only Fools and Horses is fantastic. So very very happy indeed. So got all the full, got all Only Fools and Horses for free. Uh, got a Ramjet for free. Very happy. And I also have got this Battlemaster blowpipe for free as well. So very happy indeed. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is finally going to be the end of the video now. So, thank you ever so much. And uh, I will be back with my actual post thoughts video um, very soon. So, see you soon, everybody. Bye-bye. See you soon.